Hello YouTube, this is Ambi. Let us talk about maps in Python. Not Google Maps, but Python Maps. Shift Enter. So there is my heading. Let me type and explain at the same time. Maps. Okay. Maps applies a function against an iterable and displays the results. Right, map function iterable. Then function. What is a function here? Function is a function to be applied. Then iterable is a list or tuple. Now in the modern language if you want to go to the next line you have to get two spaces so yeah when you do shift enter now you can see the match let me show that how it works so yep define add a small function which adds stuff i define a function so when i say add three add mm, 99 right so you know it's just adding stuff what I let you put in there. So I'm going to create a tuple here. It's an iterable. Type A. What is this? It's a tuple. And I'm going to say add A. So add is a function, A is an iterable. So it created a map, right? So instead, let me now say results equals map add a right and type of results is yeah it's a map right so what i'm going to do here is i want if i want to see it then i have to convert that map into a list oops okay yeah so here we go i converted that into list so now Let's say I will define a list instead of tuple. Hmm? So what will happen here is type of data is list. Then results equals map add a. Yeah. So what? Does it do so it created a map and I want to print that out as you can see. So, irrespective of whether it's taking um, a tuple or a list as an iterable, if, in order for you to see the output, you have to convert the output into a list. So, yeah, uh, maps output will be a type map and it has to be uh, right to be transformed only into a list to view it okay let me convert this into markdown all right now it's fine let's do another one range nine Mm, I'm gonna say results is map add range nine. Oops, no. I will say list results. Right. So what happens here is zero to sixteen. Mm. Yep. So now we know what a map can do instead of you uh, creating a for loop going through each item applying the function and storing the result of that function into a list and then using that list for something you use this map function that will take care of what you want to do thank you for tuning in have a great one